I'm going to start off here with some grape tomatoes. Just put them, put them on there. Just, you know, a good amount there. I'm going to bring them over here. We got ourselves some baby bella mushrooms. Okay, let's put some in here. Now you know these mushrooms are gonna shrink up fast. So you can you can do extras. Now, some of you don't like mushrooms, and, and I understand, but I actually love them, so we're gonna stick them all in there, okay? Maybe a couple more. Great. Now, we're also gonna bring over here our zucchini, okay? As you can see, I sliced them and diced them, and let's put them in there, okay? All these zucchinis right there. Put them in, there we go. That's got enough room there. And we're also gonna bring in here some sun-dried. Okay, are you ready for this? Don't worry, we're just gonna pour them in there. Yep, it's okay, don't worry about that oil there. Let's do a little bit more, okay? And then we'll just spread it out a little bit, okay? We'll spread that out in there. Now, it's gonna take some salt, okay? Put it on there, just put a little bit of everywhere, okay? Some salt, got ourselves uh, some pepper. Okay, we're gonna put that in there. Just put a put especially on here on the on the zucchinis. A little bit there. Okay, we also got ourselves some Italian dressing or some Italian seasoning. Okay, let's put it in there. And then we're gonna have our most important part here. Okay. Most important part is we gotta have some olive oil. Now you can have regular olive oil, you can have some, you know, Italian, uh, garlic infused, I mean, okay, but we especially want the olive oil there to go over, to go over the zucchini there, okay? Just a little bit here, there we go. All right, now, we're gonna take this, well, I guess we gotta do something here in the center. You recognize these guys? It's our garlic, oh, gotta love our garlic here. Let's pull these guys up and over. Okay, let's see if they come out okay. Come on, guys. You can do it. There we go. We got one. Okay. And there we go. We're going to bring our second one here. There you go. We got our two. All right. Now, let's make sure here that we're going to stick this in the oven at uh, 350, maybe 375 for about 15 minutes. Okay, just to make sure we got to get this... Uh, garlic cheese melted, but before we do that, okay, I want you to see something here. We're gonna bring this over here, okay, and we're gonna bring in some garlic. Okay, you see that? See that? Why don't you push in on that for a second? Okay, we gotta sell some garlic. Now, it's not a huge one, okay, but it's big enough. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna cut about two-thirds of the way, two-thirds of the way in here. Okay, just enough. You see that? Great, now, we're gonna bring over here an oven safe container. I'm gonna stick that in there, and we're gonna put some garlic, or some uh, olive oil. Just drizzle it all over there, okay? And guess where we're gonna put this? We're gonna put this in the oven for the same amount of time with our other dish, and you're gonna see what we're gonna get. Okay, we just pulled this out of the oven, and this, this dish is quite hot, so now we're gonna take this, okay? and we're gonna put it in this container right here. Now watch this. We're just gonna to try to squeeze these guys out. You see that? Look at that guy come on out of there. Oh, look, they're, they're coming out. You see that? We're just gonna squeeze them all out of there. Now you gotta be careful, because this thing's very, very, very hot. All that oil that we had in there. Okay, these guys are starting to come out of there. And if you need a little help, you just ask a friend. Now come on out of there. There you go. Look at that, all right. All right, so we got them all there. Now we're just gonna, we're just gonna mash them down a little bit. You can see that in there. Just gonna take our fork here and try to mash these up a little bit. There you go, now they're slippery little boogers, but you can get them in there. It's not the best thing to watch now, probably sometimes. We'll bring that there and put them on there now. You're gonna take a half a stick of butter here, okay? We're just gonna stick it all in there. There you go. And then guess what? We're also gonna bring in, oh, dropped it. Some Parmesan cheese, okay? 
might put that in there. All right, maybe a little more. Yeah, there you go. Okay, and then we're just gonna mix that together. Okay, bring it over there. Keep mashing them down. Okay. There you go, look at that. Getting it all in there because we've got something else coming up here. Oh, actually, we also got ourselves some uh, parsley that I want to put in here. So you stay right there for a second. Okay. I got some parsley here. Some big pieces, but it's okay. Just want to get ourselves some color in there. There you go. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Okay, now, we're going to do this. We're going to push this over to the side here for a second. And we're going to bring over... There you go. I bet you're wondering what we're doing here, but I don't know. You're pretty smart. I bet you can figure it out. We got ourselves a little bread. What kind of bread? A little baguette here. Okay. I'm gonna cut it down there, down the center. We'll fold that thing over, and guess what? We're gonna bring it back. We're just gonna stick it on there. There you go. Stick it on there. That's it. We got our bread there. Stick that on there. We'll make some excellent garlic toast here to go along with it. There you go. Make sure you just take your time there, okay? Take your time there. We got some old garlic there. It's okay. It's going to go back in the oven here. And I don't know about you, but I don't mind a little extra garlic. I love it, to be, to be completely honest. All right, now, we're gonna stick this back in the oven for just a few minutes, let that cheese go on there. Actually, I'm gonna put a little bit more cheese on there just because I love cheese. Just cover that up there. The places that the garlic didn't get. I'm gonna put that on there. There you go. Make sure it covers every area, okay? Now right, we're gonna stick this back in the oven and we'll see you in a minute. Now take a look at this. Oh man, this looks so amazing, those sun-dried tomatoes and, and we got our, our cucumber here. Here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna mix it all together. Look at that. Yeah, we're just gonna mix it all together now. Yeah, here we go. Careful if it's still hot. This is definitely still hot. You see that steam coming out of there? This is definitely still hot. There you go. Now here's the thing, we're gonna mix this up just a little bit. Ooh, man overboard, I lost myself a cucumber. Now here's the thing, we're gonna, we're gonna do this, but now we're gonna do the little mashing here. Okay. Oh, we gotta see, we gotta mash some of those, oh, tomatoes, you see that? I know, I'm gonna get my camera all wet. Look at that, oh, oh! Now my wife's gonna be mad at me. This is not going well, okay? But it's going to be important because in a second here, you're probably wondering, what is he doing? Mashing all that stuff together? Well, you're going to see here. There we go. Watch this. Okay. This one right here doesn't want to be mashed. You know what? I'm going to leave him alone. We're just going to do this a little bit more. I want everything to be coated, yeah? Okay, look at that. Oh, now, doesn't that look good? Don't worry about that little oil in there. You're gonna see what we're gonna do here in a second. Now here we go. Surprise, surprise. We got ourselves some pasta. Now those of you that are like, hang on a second there, Paul. Oops, hang on a second there, Paul. I see two different types of pasta. Guess what, your eyes are not fooling yourself. That's true, you got some bow tie and some rotini. And I'll just be honest, I ran out of bow tie. And I was like, you know what? I need some more. So I had some extra rotini. So, I know you true Italians out there are gonna give me a hard time and say, say this isn't, this isn't real Italian, you gotta choose one pasta or the other, and you know what, you're probably right. But this is the way I did it, and you can do it your way. Here we go, just mix all that in there. Keep mixing it. Making a mess. I know some of you don't like that, and I apologize. I'm just trying to get it going here. Ooh, I am so excited about this. Now take a look. Look at this. Does that not look good? Uh, I am so ex Oh my goodness. That looks so amazing. Okay, good. 
So we got that there. And guess what? We got ourselves, oh, yes, we got ourselves some of this right here. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna break it apart. Oh, 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 that bread, that looks so good. I'm gonna take it right here, okay? And I'm gonna scoop up some of this pasta. Oh, that's too, oh, the, oh, look at that. Got the mushrooms, zucchini, tomatoes, the sun-dried tomatoes. And I'm gonna grab my fork here and we are just gonna dive right in, okay? So I gotta get myself some of this zucchini. I gotta get some of this, oh, it's gonna be hot too, so we gotta be careful. I'm gonna get my pasta, okay? I'm looking forward to this. Here we go. Mmm. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh, this is amazing. If you love garlic and you love all these veggies, come on in here and take a look at this. You have got to make this.